So I'm just going to go over exactly how much it cost me to get this prototype made and all of the costs involved. So first off, this is my actual invoice from PCBWay and it was 148.5 millimeter by 99 millimeter board and I got 10 of them and they were three and a half US dollars each. So um, I don't think, I think that price will change with the size of the board, but uh, I don't think it changes with the quantity. I think if you order 15, I think it's still three and a half dollars. So it was actually $35 for the boards and then it was $28 for the shipping. So that was with DHL. There were other shipping methods that were cheaper, but they were like, you know, gets here in like 50 days. This is shipping to the UK, by the way. So that's kind of the price they'll quote you when you go to the basket. But then also what they don't tell you really, well, it's not very apparent until you get to the paying part, is there's actually a $3 fee just for paying. And I paid with PayPal, but I think it didn't really matter how you paid, if you picked a credit card or whatever, uh, you'd still have a $3 fee. So $3 gets added onto that as well. And they actually gave me $5 off though, because it was my first order. So that was quite nice. But basically the total came to $61, including the discount. So if I bought these again, they'd be $66. So that gets converted into your currency. So in my case, that's UK pounds. There is the PayPal invoice. So it got converted, the $61 got converted to £48.34. So cool, it's £48.34 to get my 10 PCBs. Could have been a lot cheaper per board if I'd actually um, ordered more. But there you go, so we're all good. Except, and this is the accept part, there is import duty, well there can be import duty on items ordered from outside of the UK. So they have to be paid. So you get a message from DHL saying, hey, you owe another £20.58 on top of that. Uh, and the reason is, is because I don't believe there is actually any import duty on these boards, but the, you do have to pay, pay VAT on them, uh, which is at 20% in this country. So it got another £9.58 added onto that. Uh, I actually work it out nine pounds sixty six for the for the cost of this, so I don't know how they've worked out nine pounds fifty eight, but that's what they've done. Uh, and then looks like there's a set eleven pound charge on top of that, so it looks like you'd act, it'd be eleven pounds plus um, twenty percent of the entire cost of the product you're buying, including the shipping, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And there's all the totals then. So boards were thirty five dollars. Oh, well, boards were £27, shipping was £22, we got a discount of nearly £4. Uh, the PayPal fee was £2.38, which came to £48.34, and then we added £9.58 for the import duty. Actually, that's VAT, not really import duty, but there you go. And the DHL handling fee was £11, so it actually came to £68.92, and the total cost per board was £6.89. That's the total, like all the costs from end to end of getting... Uh, like a prototype PCB board um, made and getting it delivered to your house. So, uh, you know, you've still got to say that this is still, for what it is, incredibly cheap. It's absolutely, I mean, I, I imagine, you know, going back a decade or so, this just wouldn't be possible for under thousands of pounds, possibly. Uh, so it's amazing that you can get this, but ordering these small quantities is never really going to pay off. And whenever you see costs and saying, hey, I can get a board for $3.50, it's like, well, yeah, you can, but... You can't get one board for $3.50. So take that into account if you're ordering and just remember that, that if you're ordering to the UK anyway, it'll be different for your country. There are fees and possibly import duties that have to go in your country as well. Plus you've got your exchange rate. But yeah, that's that, that was the total cost of getting 10. I think minimum order was five actually. It was only like $10 less. So there we go, end-to-end -end costs of getting yourself a little PCB from PCBWay.